Back in Naples, Italy, match to day one of ISL 2021 in the 200 Backstroke the next event on the full deck already. The early lead belongs to the Cali Condors, but we saw over the course of the first match of the season how much things could go back and forth, Rowdy, and we get a chance to see Bita Nelson here in lane number four swimming for the Cali Condors, and she'll be the one to watch, the only swimmer that's rated in the top 10. She's won this event five times, but again, a lot comes down to just what type of form these athletes are in at the moment. Yeah, we, we've talked to a lot of the coaches all along the way, and Mark had talked to Dave Salo, the head coach of Tokyo, and he just said, you know, we, we just don't know where everybody's at in their training coming off this summer. So these first few events will give a big indication of where these swimmers are at. There is Bita Nelson swam collegiately at Wisconsin. Entered the season last year for the Cali Condors and has been really, really good at this event. Keep an eye on Kathleen Baker up there in lane six for LA. Coming off a season of injuries with that foot. How much has she recovered swimming here for LA? Missed last season. Two hundred banks took eight lengths of the pool. The ISL is all short course meters. If you just got a chance to watch Tokyo, you'll notice that the pool is virtually cut in half. Exactly. That's right, and you'll see the times, if you're wondering about the times and how come they are so much faster than long course meters, well, it's very simple. You had three turns, for example, in 100 versus only one turn. Here you have seven versus three in a long course format, and the swimmers are much faster coming off the wall, so you'll see a lot of the action take place underwater. Some of these backstrokers, for example, will go a full 10 meters off the wall, and in cases, in many cases in the 100, they'll go 15 meters off the wall. And it's interesting, Roddy, because there are some swimmers that are better long course than they are short yeah, course. That's right, and, and, and better in short course yards. A lot of the Americans swim yards, and a lot of these international swimmers swimming collegiate. So, so they are used to swimming in this short course format. That will give them the advantage. Talked about Baker, she looks good early on in lane number six. She's on the right side of the screen in the blue suit. Trying to get the LA current right back into it. Yeah, she really does. She's flowing very well. Great tempo right now. And with 50 meters left to go, she's got about a body length on the field. She's looking really good. And this is exactly what LA current needs to kind of put themselves back into it. The question is how much does gas does she have left here in the last 50 meters? I guess here comes Peter Nelson also moving up on the inside, Ingrid Wilm. At least the good news for her is Wilm is her teammate. That's right. But Bita Nelson on the final 50, she goes down, stays down, and she's going to win this event for the sixth time in her career. Cali Condors on top again. Wow. And what a, what a difference a 50 makes. <laughs> There's Kim Bracken, assistant coach there. And you can see Bita Nelson's time of 203 plus, and she did it all in the last 50. She was 30.7 her last 50. Nobody else even broke 31. LA Condors did finish second and fourth. Wilm and Baker finished second and fourth. Baker really got tired at the end. She was 33.6 at the end. She's gonna be great in the sprints. And once she gets into fighting shape, so to speak, she'll be much better here in the 200. But this was all B to Nelson. 101.7 going out. 1022 coming back. How about that for an even split of 200? Peter Nelson, jackpot hold in. She gets the nine points for the win plus the six points that she steals from sixth, seventh, and eighth. And it'll get the Cali Condors 47 points now.